my business cards. Okay, I'm gonna just leave it there. Yeah, I, I wanna see you bust down. Let me stop, I don't know why, I just snapped. Hey y'all, it's your girl Kyle Kyle Shea, whatever you want to say, and I is back with another video. If you're a new viewer, what's good, what's popping? If you're a return subscriber, what's good, what's popping as well, bitch, okay? Okay. So today y'all be finna do some orders, um, cause yesterday, today is Tuesday, I was supposed to do orders yesterday, that was Monday, but long story short, a bitch got stuck in the tunnel, like the Inner Harbor Tunnel. I literally was panicking because, bitch, I don't do tunnels to begin with, so for me to get stuck in the tunnel, that's like my worst fear. But besides the point, we're going to do like a chit chat package, you know, get ready. What's this shit called? Um, package up orders with me. Um, so yeah, before we get into the video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, follow me on social media, and send me a post notification so you guys know when I post a new video. Alright, so I'm trying to see like how I want to set you guys up because like since I'm not on the floor anymore because um, somebody said like, you know, you guys wanted to see what I was doing. But um, I don't know how to set it up for y'all to see this table. And still like see me if that makes sense so i guess i'll just lift this stuff up as i'm doing it um but i mean y'all already know what i'm doing like well okay if you're new here you don't know what i'm doing um but if you guys you know been following me since day one I and mean, watching my videos since day one y'all know what i'm doing when it comes to packaging but um so i had to order some more inventory because <laughs> a bitch is running low um i was running low low Sorry, I'm trying to check my phone. I don't know who told y'all like it's cool or whatever to like the um the people that do like the cartoons and stuff. Why do y'all spam under people's pictures? Like the one time cool, y'all just go crazy and uh, y'all just go crazy under pictures. But um so let's see here. I haven't been like posting on Instagram lately. And this weekend I was lit. Um, as you can see, my nail broke. That's how lit I was. It was good. it was blood everywhere. I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, it was blood like gushing on my finger. I think it's like I don't know, it's like a blood clot or something on it. I can't really see it. But um, yeah, like I said, I was getting I got some new inventory because yeah, like I said the bitch was running below. I got some more business cards. I literally, like, me having a business, it's like, I always want to do something different. I want to do something new. But, um, so I've been thinking about, again, rebranding. Not really that much. I just want to add some stuff here and, th here and there. So I got my, I got my business cards from Vistaprint. Y'all already know. If you don't know, I do have a video on making business cards and thank you cards, I believe, already on my channel. Um, you guys can go watch that if you guys need help with some business cards. I just get some ideas and see what software I use to make the business cards. Go right ahead and then come back here so y'all can finish. But, um, so yeah, I've got some new business cards. I do want to change up some stuff soon. Not right now because I don't know how I do it and that takes time. Oh, good lord. Because I have other things I want to do. But, um, so I got 500 of them. So it came in two boxes. Same as my old business cards. Um, I just needed some more. That kind of plays into part as to what we're going to talk about today. Um, basically, like networking. I kind of touched bases on it last um, video I did, I think. Something like that. Um, because one girl, she did. Oh my God, I feel so bad. I just remember it now. I can't remember. Um, I'm not going to remember her Instagram name, but she was telling me something. We were having a conversation. I'm so, I was so busy. Like, I just. I forget that, you know, so check DMs and stuff like that. But she was just talking to me about like how to become more outgoing and networking and stuff like that. So what I do is I have my purse, every bag I have, my makeup bag, um ew, you got hate not try having like the lip gloss like sticks and shit. But um so like in my makeup bag, my overnight bag, my all my purses, I have business cards somewhere in in there, okay? I always have it just in case, you know, I need to hand them out. Like, literally yesterday when I got stuck in a tunnel, um, this one guy had pulled over and waited for me to put the police to come or whatever. And he um, he asked, you know, if I had a job. And I was like, you yeah, have my own business. 
So I gave him a business card. Girl, I better scream because I thought these were wrong. Um, so I gave him a business card. Here's my business cards. If you guys don't know, now you know. These are what my business cards. Okay, I'm gonna just leave it there. Um, <laughs> my nails aren't gonna let me get it. But um, I always hand out my business cards to whoever, and I always wear items. So when it comes to networking, like to properly network. I feel like it's easier when you already you can wear your products like say you start here and you're wearing the hair it's easy to like um get people's attention and be like hey you know hand business card hair so hair this is the hair right here this is about about inches this type of texture it is so they can see it you know what i mean um it's best when you have items that you can show off um like me i always wear my jewelry my mm, i always have something in of mine my lashes um necklaces anklets bags all that I always have it on me like I'm actually wearing it with my outfit um that kind of plays a part into like putting your uh what's it called your face on your brand if that's what you want to do I always suggest to you know you should put your face on it so it's easier for you to promote you don't have to pay nobody to promote yourself you can wear it yourself and promote it but um whenever I go out I'm always wearing something so when I hand a business card out um I observe people like I scope out and see you know who I'm gonna hand it out to um usually everybody that i every female that i see or if it's the guy that approaches me i don't give out my number i give out my instagram or i give out my business card okay but i went to the um where'd i go where did i go where did i go when i got an oil change um i gave one of the guys my business card i literally would give my business cards to whoever you're not getting my number that's just that that but um you always want to have business cards on you that is the worst thing when you're out in public say you don't you say you go to the mall you always just you know how many people are in a mall and they're shopping for certain things and they probably can't find say you sell clothes they can't find the outfit they was looking for but you sell it and not everyone has an instagram like if you're out in public they you know they're more you know on the internet like actually online shopping or they're shopping at the at the mall so you want to always 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 carry business cards on you like how i approach them is how do how i don't even know it's like usually it depends on the vibe of where i'm at um the first time um we, where were we at? Oh my god. Was that okay? So when me and Paris was at Bojangles, um, he actually was like, Go give me some of your business cards and he started handing them out for me. So um I was showing them as he was handing them out for me, I was showing them, you know, what I sell, everything like that. Um and then I went to a game night and then it was like a lot of females in there. So I was like, This is my time to shine, bitch. So you know, I was just like, um, well, I already said, hey, I, mind you, I forgot I had a business for like maybe a 30, good 30 minutes. Um, Cause I was just socializing with people who just, you know, learning their name. So once, you know, I learned their name, they learned my name. I was like, oh wait, I have a business card for you. And I was like, like hey, I have a business card for you. I sell lashes, accessories. And I, as I'm saying it, bitch, I'm pointing to what I'm selling. I'm like, yeah, I sell lashes and I sell accessories and everything like that. Um, it's an Instagram and it's the website on there. So you can just go check it out. Um, also, you don't want to ramble on if they have any questions. You want to see if they want to ask you some questions. Usually people ask me, they're like, do you put the lashes on too? And I'm like, no, because I don't. Um, but you don't want to like throw you don't want to throw your business card in someone's face because what if they didn't want it you know so how i do it is i like you know slowly do it and hand to see how they you know how they're acting um i mean it don't hurt you never know some probably some people may not know how to accept the fact that you're you have a business and how you're about to handle it to them i mean how you're about to hand your business card to them so they're probably like what is she about, what is she doing so as long as you get your business card out there th that's all that matters and it's okay if you're shy you know have one of your friends hand it out for you and then you come sliding up behind them like oh yeah yeah i sell this this and this and then eventually you'll get to the point where you can do it on your own that's how i was eventually i got to the point where i can just do it on my own i wasn't shy per se it wasn't that i was shy it was just that like i didn't know how like somebody was gonna you know um react or like that awkward conversation i really hate awkward conversations so um because not every not everyone's like social like i'm social so when i you know get around someone that's not social it's just a very awkward pause or silence and i'm just like so you wear lashes like you know <laughs> just make conversation don't make the person feel uncomfortable i had to learn how to do all of that stuff because it was awkward sometimes and i felt uncomfortable because they weren't speaking or they would just stare at me so um you always want to go out as one of your friends actually want to go somewhere go okay it don't matter where you're going just get out the house because you're not going to meet nobody i mean you'll meet people i met people through social media but it's not the same as if you meet them in person um you, it's for, everything's about first impression so when someone sees you in person 
you know they're like oh i remember you you know it's it's different it's really different instagram is not like the place you want to meet people like you know what i mean like i'd rather meet people in person talk to you get to see get a vibe from you and actually see how you you're thinking your um, mindset is or whatever um but i just me personally i just like to go out as already as is um saturday i went to a pool party and the one girl you know that was um in the section with us she was like oh my god i love your bracelet it was a snake bracelet um it wasn't this one but it was the other one the regular snake one this is like the double kind of because it cuffs a little bit more but the other one i had on so i was like oh yeah i have my own business cards you know i have my business i sell lashes and accessories and so i slid my business card in her purse because we was already lit like you know that's the worst when you're lit and you're trying to like talk about business but um i just always like to like go out and just mingle and because i don't like sitting in the house because i do my business in the house so, like when you get outside it's a different feel because if you do your business that's like want to work when you get out of, when you get off your job you feel a different person once you go home once you go out you feel different but me i do my business in the house so once i get out i feel like a different person i feel better and all that good stuff it's not good to just sit in the house all day be on social media like you just start looking at other people's lives comparing yourself to them and you don't want to do that so to avoid all of that get out network hand out business cards um just see the type of people that you meet you might you might meet someone else who has their own business and y'all just you know start collabing and stuff you never know so yeah that was my whole little spiel i'm hot as hell sorry i hope y'all really i feel like y'all gonna hear this piano i know you are i feel like you are but um that was my little spiel that was my little spiel on why you should network okay that was just my little little thing right there um let me see store orders let me refresh my ship station. Okay, so a lot of people, I, didn't I do a video on it though? I think I did. Did I do a video on ship station, y'all? I feel like I did. I do. I did so many business videos. I'm trying to like, you know, I'm trying to like switch it up a little bit just to like spice shit up just a tad bit. Um, Cause I feel like I've pretty much talked about everything and having a business and now it's just to the point where y'all are just watching my progress. I'm telling you guys like pointers here and there. Um, Cause like to start a business, you have to do your research on it because it's different for everybody. Um, not everybody sells what I sell, but you know, if I do sell what you sell, um, I hope I was very helpful to y'all, you know. So I have the necklaces, my custom necklaces came, so we're going to ship those out. Let me write down the other order already on my own package. So I use ShipStation to um, keep track of stuff. So all my orders are on here, get on here so I can go get up and go over there and pick it up. Not really pick it up, but crystal, cross, silver. Silver. And she want a diamond anklet. Well, it's right next to me, actually. These are one of the, it has two new anklets. This one's like a, a rope chain anklet. Can you guys see it? I'm trying to like give you guys the view, probably not. This is a rope chain um anklet. I love this one. And then I have, ow, Jesus. Like a different Lynx one. Cause the other ones I used to sell, the other, like the Cuban link one that I had, here's the other one. This one's like the links. Like the other ones that I had was like a little chunky. I uh, like this one a little bit better. So I was like, yeah, let me sell these. Um, let me sell these instead. I'm trying to like keep up with my Instagram. It's just very, it's a lot. It's a lot. Cause I just posted a picture. Um, of me promoting the tongue rings, nose ring, lashes, what's this thing called? A necklace. I think that's about it. These are the pictures. So go like this. If you haven't liked it already, go like this picture. Please and thank you. Anklets. Anklets are really cute, especially summertime. But I mean, we're going to wear anklets all year round, bitch. Okay. Period. And then y'all got the Scorpio Aries anklet. I need to find my Aries anklet. I be taking my anklets off randomly and just throwing them somewhere in there and then hopefully I found them, but. Mm -hmm. 
right. Okay, let's go. Well, let's go over here. Okay, so every all my inklets and everything are inside of here. So what the hell? What did she want? She wanted the gold, the diamond one. Where is it? Ugh. You know what? Actually, let me look up. I be getting y'all zodiac signs mixed up. I'm trying to Scorpio sign. I be having to like check it. Okay, it's like the little end with the arrow. Let's see, no, it's not it. Here it is. Here's the Scorpio one. Okay, it's not gonna come out. Hold on. Got it. All right, so we got the Scorpio one. Can you see it? It's gonna auto focus for me. Okay, cool. All right, so I got the Scorpio one. I see these in silver, but where are they at in the gold here? All right, so here's the other input that you have to get. I need the Aries one, right? Scorpio, Aries. You need a bracelet. The crystal snake again. These are all my uh, different bracelets, earrings, stuff like that. So here's the snake. Um, bracelet. We're going to put that there. We're going to go over here. And I need... Mm, I didn't label all of these yet. Because I just, when I restocked, I didn't... Oh, oh something fell. Something fell. That's not the one I need. Does anybody want a gold card? Does anybody want a silver glasses? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I remember seeing what to just, I'm just dropping everything. This is really my favorite necklace. The pendant. This is the crystal version. Can focus. Thank you. This one I'm wearing right now. This is my favorite. It's like the um it's kinda like a medallion pendant feel a little bit. Not really, I'm lying. Okay. So we need crystal and silver. Okay, I'm just gonna bring all this over here because I just didn't have time today. I don't have time today. Okay, so this is for the tiger butterfly. And I got the cross, right? I got the cross. Diamond anklet, anklet, tiger butterfly, crystal cross silver, blah blah blah. blah. Alright. So we're gonna put this over here. With us, I'm gonna put this lit right there. And move my book out the way. I need to get another book running out of paper. That's the worst. And then we need a pair of girl lashes. There we go. Okay, if I can get it up. Okay, so we need a pair of girl lashes. This is the style. I really like this style. Style girl. Oop, oop. The girl, style girl. I usually wear these. This is my favorite. The three dollar sign lashes. These are my fave. Y'all need to go cop some of these ones right here. Okay. There, girl. Okay, so let's open up the oop, the custom necklaces. And also over here in my other drawer is where all my boxes and tissue paper and stuff is at. My um custom, not custom. These are my lash boxes. I'm thinking about doing custom stuff. Um, simply because I don't want stuff looking like everybody else's. So I want to customize my shades. So yeah, we're gonna um I want more of my things to be customized in my business. So oh my gosh. Alright, so as you guys know, I get sent the little cloths to clean the necklace and stuff off. This one looks huge. What the fuck is this? <laughs> That's all the necklaces are inside of here. Right here. I like them. We do that right there, right there. <laughs> like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm trying to see where I can sit you guys. Like, so you guys can like, see what I'm doing. I don't know. Let me zoom you guys out, maybe, I think. And, like, set you guys so 
here it is. Okay, so here's all the necklaces and anklets. My nail is just, just depressing. I have to go to New York tomorrow and I'm really mad about it because my nail looks like this. I need to get a clear band-aid so it won't look as bad because this is ghetto as fuck. Um, all right, so we're gonna, I just lost her neck, oh, this. This is for Nicole. Put my scissors, and actually I need these, so I'm gonna put them right here. All right, so I need, I ordered some more stick, oh wow. These are my stickers, y'all know where I get my stickers from. Get it from stickerapp.com. I ordered some more of those because I was running low. I know. I got some more plastic trays to put the necklaces on. I had to buy some more of the, um, the little black ties that are on the box to keep it shut. And we're gonna need my ankle stuff. This is the um, like little footing for the anklet and a little plastic bag that comes with it as well. I, yeah, I, I want to see you bust down. I'm sorry, I don't know why I just snapped. Um, so let me get my pink mesh bag for my lashes. Oh, what the hell? So I'm just pulling it. And then the custom tweezers. With every lash order, I send um, a pair of the custom tweezers out. So, yeah, y'all. Okay, I'm hot again. I really love this fan guy from Amazon. It's like, it's really. Okay. I love this fan. It keeps me nice and cold because I be hot in here doing orders. Um. All right, so Nicole first, I like to write on the, is that a Sharpie? Okay. The first whose order this is, I'm gonna write Nicole's name on the back of it. Actually, no. Um, Let me put the uh, actual necklace on the thing first. But so, how many of y'all have a business? Like, I wanna know. Like, and like, can you guys like comment down below? Like, let me know if you guys have a business. Like, how's it going? Or if you're about to start a business, when's it launching? What are you selling? You know, all the good details. Cause literally, you commenting that down below, you never know. Someone may need something that you're selling, and you might meet your potential customer down below. So, if you have your own business, um, can you comment down below and you know give details and let us know everything that we need to know about the business. But um, I really, 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 it's fun having a business and like, you know, I do different things. So it's like I stay occupied. Um, the only downfall, I guess, of having a business, well, for me, I'm gonna speak for myself and only myself, cause that's all I do, I speak for moi. Um, only really the, like the downfall is since I do this at home, I tend to, slack a little bit more simply because I'm at home chilling you know um but I just like that I don't know it's just a different feel having your own business I don't have to wake up and go work at Panera anymore and deal with the bullshit customers and the bullshit people there like it's just and like I said I, um I guess this is gonna be like an updated how I started my business with no money type of thing. Or like, you know, we all see my progression. I'm, I guess I can speak on it. That's something I can do. Um, I definitely didn't show you guys what I did to do this. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna do it for the next one. Let's see, I wrote her name on the back. I put Nicole with a little heart, um, my sticker, the necklace is right behind, and a little ribbon to keep it shut. So yeah, this is Nicole's. Um, Jalicia, she got it in this phone. It's right here, it's super cute. Um, but so, okay, so you guys know, like my first video I think I did last year around September-ish. I honestly don't even remember when I first did that video. And mind you guys, I never assumed that that would be like the video that started everything. And then for me to continue and do like behind the scenes, ugh, behind the scenes of stuff that I do, you guys are so like cool for that. Like, it's so weird. How can I describe it? Um, hold on, but look at this neck. This is super cute. I love this font. 
This is super cute. So let me just put this in here. But um, like I was saying, when I did that video, I was literally, like when I did the, um, how I started my business with no money. When I did that video, I literally was like, I don't even remember what I was thinking when I made the video. But so this is what I do for y'all that want to see what I be doing. I just put the lid over the top. And I write the name. Yeah. Don't ask me why my dumbass didn't just look at the necklace. But anyway, um, like I was saying, I literally wanted to like express myself and use literally is some, something that you can use to express yourself. Um, but of course, you know, it comes with judgment, people commenting and having their little two cents that we did not ask for. But hey, it's cool or whatever. But um that video was really the jump start of everything and then when I started doing the entrepreneur series that popped off as well and I I've helped a lot of people um you guys look I'm gonna show you guys my wall look at my wall look that has all of you guys um that has all of you guys like letters and stuff that you send me when you send me promo I kept it and I put it up on the wall that's like a creep but um, but um, yeah, so when literally like me doing YouTube, if I didn't have like, you know, you guys as my subscribers or my followers on social media, you know, tweeting me and DMing me or whatever you guys do, um, I wouldn't be doing that because I wouldn't have no motivation because I literally wake up and sometimes I have an attitude and usually don't be nothing wrong with me. I just, you know, I don't know. I just have bad attitudes. So my way of coping with that was like I told you guys before um, I've made a vision board and this is not the vision board I'm just showing you guys the pendant for the silver cross um, I made a vision board and it's right next to my bed so every day I wake up I see it first um, and that's what literally pushes me to do something that I need to do to get to where I want to be at in life so you guys should really make a vision board just go Literally, it don't have to be a damn board. It can be a binder or a notebook or whatever. But I just print out, you know, the things that um, I'm trying to strive for. And I use my calendar as, you know, keeping track of different projects I have to get done and whatnot, whatnot. But you guys have to stay motivated in order to have a business. That's the hard part. You have to stay motivated. Something has to motivate you. Someone, something has to motivate you. Um... And you have to motivate yourself. Like you have to know how to talk to yourself and tell yourself, like, I right, get up, bitch. Like you have to, like, you cannot sit here and dwell on whatever happened last night or whatever is gonna happen tonight. You can't dwell on it. You gotta get your orders out, cause that looks bad on you when you don't get your orders out because you're going through something. Like we all go through stuff, you know what I mean? But you're playing with people's money, <laughs> unless you're like dying sick, okay? There's no reason you should not get these people's orders out. You cannot let personal stuff interfere with your business. And if you do, having a business is not for you, sis, okay? Um, but it's just the, I don't know, just the word I'm gonna use. I don't know. Mm. You just have to want it. Like I know what I want and I'm going to get it no matter what. So I push myself with my business. I'm always trying. Y'all know, y'all, y'all know. I'm always rebranding. I'm always doing this and that. I'm always trying to add some new stuff that I probably no business adding. But I just want the best for myself and my business. So y'all gotta want the same for yourself. Like when I've been doing my uh, my one on one session, you know, I always ask the main question I ask everybody is, um, what's the high end store that you look up to? Like that, you know. That if you became, if your brand became famous, would you, you know, compare it to something else? Or, like, basically, so I ask, like, which, so say somebody has their own clothing boutique, I'll say, you know, what's your favorite place to shop for clothes? Like, a big end brand. And then I'll say, compare your brand to them as if your brand was a big popping brand. And you need an inspiration. So you go look at that website, you go look at their clothes, get some inspiration, and take it, run with it. And put your spin on it. That's what you always should do when it comes to getting ideas. Like when I get my ideas, I don't get them from Instagram or nothing. I get them from Pinterest. Um, Pinterest has a lot of, you know, good shit. Y'all need to make a Pinterest account. Um, 
They always ask people, what's your favorite company or high-end brand? And compare your brands to them. That's what I do when I started my business. I compared my, my, um, um, sis. Hold on. I love when I'm missing stuff. I just love it. Let me see. I don't even remember where I put it at. That's the problem of everything. I just love when stuff like this happens. I can't find show. Ooh. Hmm. Cute. Hold on. So see, ran into a damn problem. I didn't order this girl's necklace. So, I mean, anklet. I get so many orders, like, and I, I go over certain things and I skip it. Hey, could I order? So I'm gonna contact her. Um, I'm gonna contact her and see what she wants to do about it, but I'm gonna at least get my vendor on it so she knows. Um, my dog's at the door. So I just sent her, I just sent my vendor a message. Let me contact this girl. Okay. Order number, what's her order number? This is what I be talking about. Like, <laughs> having a business sometimes. Okay. Hey babe, I Oop. I went shipping out order today. So what I'm gonna have to do is give it to her for free because it's way late, so I'm gonna just refund her her money and I'm gonna ship it to her. Um mm -hmm. and I During the processing, this is so sad. During the processing time, I will refund you your money. But I'm still ship out. Your necklace. I'm gonna give her an option. I mean, your anklet. So, what the option is, or you can add any non custom item to your order. Okay, so I'm trying to figure out how I want to like word it so she'll understand what I'm saying. Um, or you can add any non-custom item to your order. I, I hate when I do that shit. <sighs> Alright, so I sent that to her so she's aware of it. Alright, so for this one, it's two necklaces and then an anklet. Uh, that just threw me off having that messed up. Like, um, this is the um the vintage initial ink. I said anklet. Uh, what's the a necklace um she got the letter q so usually people do uh email me back right away while i'm doing stuff but i mean i already contact my vendor so she can you know at least put that in there and i can pay for it but um i'll pay for it once the girl actually says you know that's what she would like to do but um things like that happen especially when you do anything by yourself i do everything by myself I package up orders, I process orders, I do sales by myself, I do my graphics by myself, everything I do by myself. So of course there's going to be mistakes, but nobody wanna hear that. So I never use, but I'm by myself as an excuse, cause it's not an excuse. It should push me further to wanna do better for my business. So, you know, whatever floats the boat. Quantrill. 
right? So don't let things like that like just, like discourage you in a business. Like stuff like that happens, and we don't know how she may react to me not that and get her neck her ankle knee. Um, it's just how you handle, you know, your customers. If you come off as a, you know, in a nice way, it's not a guarantee they'll come, they'll come back with the same energy. But as long as you was nice about it the whole time, there's nothing they can really say bad about you. Cause did y'all see like a while ago? It was like a lash tech. The girl, um, she was doing lashes at her house or whatever, and she was getting rude with the client and was like, "Are you knocking on my door? Don't knock on my door. Who knocks on? Girl, you're doing lashes out of your house." What was she supposed to do? Like, what? I just said outside? No. I'm at your house and I'm not going to do it to announce that I'm here. So basically, the girl was trying to explain herself. I'm like, sis, you look better. The messages, it don't matter what you guys say to explain yourself. But like, stuff like that, you don't want to ruin your business just because of one customer. So, I thought I just cut my fingers. So, don't, like, have negative energy. Always, you know, stay positive. Even if the customers get being a bitch, don't, don't be a bitch. Don't be a bitch bad because they'll expose you. Even if they, okay, so look, that's the one thing about people I hate. They'll get a product and not post it. Not saying you gotta post it, but oh, there's something wrong with it. Don't shop here. Da -da 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 -da. Sis, where was this energy when you like, you know, when you like something, you know? I'm a little concerned. But I always like whenever I get something from someone, I like to um, tag them. Just, you know, a little post will make someone happy. You never know. I always tell y'all, just reshare something for somebody. Tag them in something. Comment on something. Just anything will, you know, boost somebody's, you know, spirit self. They're probably having a bad day and then you go comment on their picture and you're like, Someone's seen it. You know, just anything. Or check out their site, get their site of view. Literally anything. All that stuff is free. You don't have to buy anything. Gosh. Uh, I mean, but that's up to you, of course. But I love anklets. Y'all know I love anklets. Um, ooh. Another thing, like, so me having, you know, so... When having your business, you want to make sure everything's put together. You don't want to just throw things out here and there. Like I said before, the the anklets already come in packaging, but do I like this packaging? No, I wanted something different, um, and I wanted to put my little logo on it, to add something to it. So you want to make sure your business is popping. Like you want to do is this anklet jam? Cause I have to get another one, or I'm gonna just put it on myself cause it's jam. Let's see. Yeah, it's jammed. I hate when shit like this happens. Um, when stuff like this happens, you can actually buy more lobster claws and attach it to the thing itself, but I'm not about to do that. I don't like doing that. I wonder why it's jammed. I almost broke my nail. Okay, well, can you put it on myself? Because it's like literally jam jam. There's another shot put it on. I'll wear it for myself and I'm going to get another one for her. To him or her, whoever this is. Don't know who this is. There we go. It still fits, but you know, I'm not gonna give bullshit out to people. I think not, I think not. I think not. Alright, luckily I have a whole bunch of these. Because everybody likes this one, so I got a whole bunch. And now it'll be some shit if they're all jammed. I'm cussing somebody out. Period. And that's just dead on bed. But, um,. You always want to get like a professional feel for your business because say your business pop off one day and you're getting childish vibes. It's not going to sell to a lot of market. Like it's not going to get pushed out there more. So when you have a business, you want everything to be professional. Don't rush it. Once you get your, your coins up, sis, go ahead and start buying, you know, custom stuff to look professional. You want your business to look professional. You want to think like, um, how would your business look if it was inside of a mall? Would your would your business fit inside of a mall? Think about it. And if you say if you have any doubts about it or questioning it, no, it probably doesn't belong in a mall. So change your branding up, marketing, something got to change, sis. Something's got to change. And you want to give the best. Like, you know, that like you want people to want to shop with you. That's what the thing is, like I'm trying to do more of like you want to you want people to feel like they have to shop with you to a certain extent. And that's not forcing nobody, you know what I mean? But it's like you want people to have yourself. You want them to feel like they need it. Like Gucci, Balenciaga, all that. They make people feel like they want they need their stuff. 
Like, you probably feel like you need a pair of Balenciaga, but can you afford a pair of Balenciaga right now? Probably not. But the way that Balenciaga is and who they are, their status in the industry, you want a pair of Balenciagas. And you're going to do whatever you can to get Balenciagas. So when it comes to, like, pricing your stuff, they're expensive, right, Balenciaga? So when it comes to pricing your stuff, price however you please and stick to it. Don't feel like, I don't know if it's going to sell. If it don't sell, it don't sell, sis. Okay, you live, then you learn. But you don't want to sell yourself short. Don't do that shit. That, that's the worst you can do is sell yourself short. Um, let me get my uh, bubble mail Um, uh, Where's my signs that I need? I need to order some more of those too. Some more bubble mailers. Because, um, sis, I'm running low. Okay. Uh, Alright, so I'm gonna order some more bubble mailers today because, yeah, your girl, your girl's running well, okay? Alright, so I like to lay out the orders on the floor. I'll show you guys once I actually have everything on the floor. Um, so yeah, I lay out the stuff on the, the orders on the floor. So I'll. Because these bubble millers, they're not like the other ones where I could write on it with a sharpie because, first of all, bitch is black, so you can't see it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I have to do it that way. Okay, that one goes in the bigger one. So I have these, I have, different, I have three different sizes. I have these large ones, medium-sized ones, and then really small ones for, like, you know, single orders. Like, somebody just got body jewelry, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever. I'm gonna get the stuff off the table because there's so much shit on the table. Um, so I'm kind of almost done with the orders, not really, but really. Um, I finished all the custom items, they're all over right here on the packaging for the um bubble mailers. So now I'm just doing the non custom orders and getting those together. Um, this is like a long process, especially because, like, like I said, since I'm in my house, I get comfortable when I'm like trying to walk away. <laughs> Like, listen, but, um, where's my pen? Where the hell? You know what? I'm not in the mood today. Okay, oh, there Um, so all my jewelry, a lot of people ask me, do I have different vendors? Yes, my custom jewelry vendor is separate from my, oh, what's it called? My custom jewelry vendor is separate from my, you know, pendants vendor, and I have two different vendors that I order my non-custom pieces from. So I have one that I usually get the, just the chains from and I get another place just for the pendants. Um, so I, I honestly think it's best to have multiple vendors because you never know. One of my vendors one day may, you know, say fuck me and then I'm SOL because I was just sticking with one. So I think it's best to, I feel so crippled with this band-aid on my finger. Jesus. Um, eh. But was saying, yes, I always say it's best to have multiple vendors with any business you're doing because you never know something may go wrong, or you, you know, they all sell different things, even though you know it's all the one, it's, just, it's all the same thing, such as it's all jewelry. Okay, well, this I hate <laughs> the box and chain, don't like to sit inside the uh holder, but um, since it's all jewelry, it's best to have multiple ones just because you never know. Like, literally, I've been looking for this one specific item that I have not yet have found. But I'm going to continue to look for it so I find the correct vendor that sells it, okay? But, um, that's one thing that you guys have in the business that you have to do on your own. Or you can buy a vendor from someone. Um, but you want, if it's something specific that you want, you need to search that specific item that I've been doing. And, girl, girl. <laughs> y'all seen that video of the little girl was on the ASMR and she was like, girl. That's me literally every day when I'm about to sell a story because it's literally sis. I'm ready to get the fuck ASAP. I'm so hot. Here, I got stuck in here. Um, I'm hot and hungry. These are the worst combinations ever to have. Dun, dun, dun. Dun. Dun, 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 dun. I was watching my story. Y'all need to make sure y'all follow me on social media, okay? Because if you don't, I don't know what to tell you, sis. 
Okay, so here's one. So this so this one gets a business card. That one. That one. That one. That one. And I wrap everything up in tissue paper. That's why I want to get custom tissue paper. Oh, my back. Uh, I'm getting old. Oh, dear. <laughs> that one this one and then that one so they all get business cards oh sis but so yes that's so yes that's that for the video make sure you subscribe to my channel you follow me on social media and you turn your post notifications so y'all know when i post a new video i feel so disgusting with this finger like this but um make sure you stay tuned for the next video